How long is a piece of string? In this video, we're gonna talk about SEO and more specifically, how long it actually takes to get results in SEO without wondering, has the links I built worked? Has the content I've just added to my site actually done anything to help? How long should you give it before you start to analyze things and think, has this worked? And what steps should I take next in order to improve this site or get better rankings? If you don't know already, my name is Gary Wilson. I've worked on hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of sites over the last year or two, helping clients, and I've built numerous of my own websites in the affiliate and e-commerce spaces. And I know a thing or two about what it takes to rank and what it takes in order to figure out how long it's going to take to actually achieve results. And in this video, I want to take us away from the string and try to give you a more concrete definition on what it actually takes in order to achieve results. So, I'm going to jump over to Sketchpad here and go over four main factors that I feel come into play when you're on about ranking, okay? So the first thing you really want to consider um, is the difficulty of the keyword, okay? Now what we'll do is I'll explain these four things to you in a little detail and then what at the very end what I'll do is I'll give you some real life examples so that you can actually um, start to take this into your own niches and get an understanding for yourself as to how long things might actually take, all right? Because it is good to have an idea if you're trying to rank for a client or if you're trying to rank your own site to know when to send the next link or when to actually, how long to actually wait before, you know, knowing when to take the next step on your site. So difficulty comes down to keyword difficulty. I do not recommend for keyword difficulty one bit to come in and start to look at um, the keyword difficulty in Ahrefs or SEMrush or whatever like that. These keyword difficulties are a little bit off. What you actually want to do, I actually created a video on this a little while back. You can probably get it on the Get Me Links blog. Um, but what you can check out is just like how competitive the backlinks are of your competitors. How many links do they have on their page and their site level? And are is your site at a level that's near that? If if not, if, if everyone in the first page has 500 links and a couple links go into the page and you're starting from completely ground zero, then that's fairly difficult as compared to what your site is. That means that it could take longer to actually analyze that and um, understand um, how long that's going to take. So... Well, again, I'll show you some real life examples in a second, but the difficulty of the keyword is massively important. Um, the age of your site, um, many age sites, sites that have been around for a long time that have existing authority, um, more specifically on the authority side, if your site has been around for a few years, Typically, it can rank a lot, lot quicker than other sites. Um, you see this a lot with sites like Forbes or you know BBC. These kind of large authority websites that have been around for 15 years, for example, are going to rank very, very quickly for new pages and new pieces of content because the age of their site is old too. And they not only do they have an aged site, they have aged backlinks and aged authority linking to their site as well. All right. Um, the next thing that comes into play is the velocity of your link building. Um, or content production, okay? So how quick are you actually putting on the content and links to your site and to that page? The faster that you build, the sooner you can do things. It just kind of makes sense. The quicker the link just will pass through, the quicker the content and um, relevance and just will pass through. So you want to be having as fast a velocity as what is really possible if you want to rank as quickly as possible. Um, you obviously need to keep to a link velocity level and content velocity level that's safe for your website, that's, um, that's made up and not ridiculous. But the faster you do things rather than slow is going to ultimately be better for your rankings. And then the last thing that really comes into play is the power of the links and content that you build. Okay, so essentially put, if you build low authority links, it's going to take you a lot longer to rank. Okay, that includes the, obviously it'll pass less juice, which will make it harder for you to rank as compared to your competition, but it'll also take you longer to rank if you have much lower authority content. If you're adding crap content onto your blog, that will also have an effect. If you want links and content, by the way, you can check the link below. Um, small plug to my business there, but um, you can check out that if you need any help with that stuff. But ultimately, the higher power and higher content, you know, better content that you put up in your site, ultimately, the faster your ranking is going to be. Okay, so how can you take this information and apply it? Well, what I'm going to do in a second here is I'm going to pull up some real life examples and just kind of show you how long I would wait with a new site or with an average age site and how long I'd be waiting to enter into some of these random niches. Okay, so one of the things you want to work out 
when you're coming in is that links typically take on average about two to three months to kick in, okay? This is a really roundabout estimate, um, but it, it really does depend again on all of the factors that I discussed a second ago. But if you're working on an affiliate site or like an e-commerce site, you should expect to see some form of movements. That's what we say to our customers within two to three months. That's kind of the roundabout average. Again, I've seen, I've had sites where this has happened within a few weeks and a month, and I've seen sites where this has just taken the three or four month mark to actually happen. So consider that when you're coming in and you're sending an individual link or a few individual links to your site, you should expect to see movements within that time. Okay. Now, I'm going to come in and look at an affiliate niche here. And this is a fairly medium difficulty affiliate niche. I put in a random keyword here, which is best driver for range. And I've pulled up the Ahrefs toolbar. If you don't have this already, what it does is it gives you Ahrefs data right underneath the search results here. And what it's basically showing me is that all of these sites here have this many referring domains going to the entire site, okay? So 642, 763, 175, 687. So really the average here is about 400 referring domains. If you come in and built a well-powered up site at that range, then you could expect to compete for a keyword like this. Now, if you have a website that you're starting from completely ground zero on, you need to build 400 referring domains so you're asking me how long is it going to take to rank? I would say a year at least because you're going to have to build all of those domains safely over the next year. So you might build 20 to 40 links per month and all the content that's required to compete with these guys in the first page. And it's going to take you months and months and months just to build up enough authority to even compete and then to build a few links to the inner page. You can see here, this guy's six, 28, one and eight. Now, a lot of these links these guys will have will be crap. I'm totally accepting that. But these guys have hundreds of links as a whole that is made, that's propping up that power and keeping them ranking in that position. So You'll need to come in and compete with that as a first off. And then second off, you need to let all of that kick in. So for a project like this, for a medium range affiliate niche site, you're going to be looking from ground zero at least a year to really compete. Don't expect to make very much money in your first year. I've seen it at most affiliate sites I've started that are at this competition level. Typically it takes me like eight months before I really see any income coming in. Um, I've had some that are a bit sooner, but that's the kind of roundabout number. Um, I'd be prepared to wait at least a year before seeing some results, and that's with some hefty link building, okay? Now, here's another example, um, a local niche, okay? And this is just a random keyword, St. Louis Bill, Bill Bonds. Um, so it's a little place in America, and it's a local niche. And you can see that the guy's ranking for this. This guy only has 62 links, 8 links. Um, this one's a big one, 213, 22 all right, so these, these guys as a whole at the top are just local businesses and they have a much smaller amount of links, right? What I would also do in local, because some of the sites are often very aged, is I would even come in and put these guys into the who is and just have a look and actually see how aged they are. There is actually some plugins you can get to do this stuff automatically, but you can see this one was registered in 2007. So that's like a 14-year-old website, um, which definitely is something to think about. This was, was only 2016, so it's only five years old. Um, this one was 2012. So if you came in and built a bit more links than these guys quite quickly, you could probably get first page for a keyword like this in maybe four, five, six months, okay? Again, the age of these sites are, they're quite old. So again, I'd be prepared to maybe wait that year just to let my site, if it's a brand new domain, I've just registered to age a little bit longer. But these are kind of estimates is what you look at if, um, because this niche is a lot easier, there's a lot less links needed, you could potentially do something like this in six months because you can build up enough velocity to actually beat out what's on the first page. It really just comes down to how many links the guys have that are on the first page and how much content they have on the first page. If you do that analysis properly, you can actually figure out how long it's going to take you to get to sort of match that velocity level, plus leaving in a number of months, the two to three months for those links to actually kick in. All right. So a niche like this, just because the sites are aged, could take you a little bit longer, but typically it's going to be something that's very easy. Now, if you're entering perhaps an e-commerce space that is very, very, very competitive, you could be prepared to wait over a year to do that, right? That's what I'm saying. You need to have a look at what's on the first page, how much links they have, how fast you're going to build those links, how powerful your links are compared to those people, and just get a really solid estimate on how long it's going to take you um, to, to, to rank against those people. Now, if you're struggling with figuring out how many links you need to build, I don't want to do a big pitch on here, but I have this product called the Link Report, which we're just about to, just actually relaunch this um, 
as of the time this video will be going out. So you can grab one of these and we actually kind of tell you how many links you need to build and make that job a little bit easier for you. Go and check that out. It's on Get Me Links and it's called the Link Report. Uh, you can check it out in the link below. But ultimately, that's what your goal is here. Just figure out what you need and based on how many links you need to build and how much of a discrepancy you're at, it's going to give you an estimate as to how long that's going to take. And just as ballpark estimates, brand new affiliate site, expect to wait a year. Local business, you could maybe do it in six to eight months. And for it's, it's really slow. It's actually really difficult to rank on a brand new site. If you have an existing age site that already has related content on it, you can actually sometimes stick up a related page on that site and rank for a new keyword within a couple months, all right? If you already have existing authority and age and power going to that site as compared to your competition again, all right? So how long is a piece of string is kind of the answer here, but ultimately you can do things a lot faster by taking into account some of the things that I said in this video. You want to be aware that the four factors I spoke about, age, power, velocity, and uh, difficulty really come into play when you're trying to make that analysis. And hopefully some of these real life examples will have helped you in your process to figure this out. If you want more videos like this, then make sure you subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate you tuning in today. And if you have any questions, you can of course reach out. My name is Gary Wilson, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you. Bye-bye.